All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final internal Xbox 360 from the XboxExpert.com. Fully clear shell. Lian Lee temperature gauge. Excess PC water block. I've got a Coolmaster pump with a custom CNC fabricated shell for it. Two high speed fans. I mean, high speed fans that are controlled by this small little switch over here. And what you do is you take this and you can put it in the hole and twist the pot to make the fans run at a desired speed that's displayed on the Lian Li. Custom fabricated reservoir. This radiator is a dual 40 millimeter radiator everything squeezed in rather tightly the only thing that was modified on the motherboard if you can see down there underneath the fans there are two capacitors that had to be desoldered for everything to fit successfully here's my TV no signal let's turn this sucker on Upon first boot, we've got CPU at 100 Fahrenheit. Now 4770 is the pump, 6180 is the fan, first fan, and 5720 is the second fan. If you can hear the fans, I am going to I'm going to move this. Now listen to the fans. Or I could lower them. And as you see here, the fan speed now is too low. So we're going to jack them back up. And we'll leave them at about, I usually leave them at about 5,000 RPMs. Seems about, just have to listen. That's good for me. This is all internal, fully internal. Everything works great. It's got a test life of about 16 hours already I've had this testing. That's why you saw it was 100 Fahrenheit when I turned it on. I had just shut it off a couple of minutes ago. And there you go. Possible additions are internal wireless and maybe some blue LED lights. I got a great place for the blue lights. And I know exactly which ones I'm going to grab. Thanks for visiting. Enjoy.